Well, hello, and thank you once again for joining me here today on my channel. I hope you are all doing really, really well. It's annoying that the weather has changed and it's a bit dark and dingy now, but what can you do? Onwards and upwards, as they say. Now, if it's your first time on my channel, hello welcome my name is Ange, aka 50 cents uk and to all my returning viewers thank you so much and of course as always sending you lots and lots of love now as you can tell by the title of this video this is part two of my empties now i've been through so much perfume like i would say in the last six months I have made a conscious effort to use my perfumes, like literally use and abuse. And that's exactly what I've been doing. And this video is going to show you a bit more of just how much I've used. If you want to see part one, I'll link it down below. And yeah, let's stop the chit chat and let's get into it. Now, as I always say, perfume is meant to be used and I don't believe in keeping any perfumes for special occasions. I wear whatever perfume I want, no matter how much it costs, and I spray myself as much as I want. I never limit myself because I think, well, you've already bought it, so you might as well use it and you might as well enjoy it. What is the point of leaving your perfume on your vanity or in your cupboard or wherever you store them and just looking at them. That makes no sense to me. So yeah, I am a very liberal user of all my perfumes. And as I said, this video is a testament to that. I'm not gonna talk too long about each perfume, but I'm gonna tell you if I liked it and whether I would repurchase it again. So the very first one that I've used up is this one, and this is Angel by Mugler. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this one. And there goes a plane. So this is a gorgeous gourmand, patchouli, chocolatey, musky fragrance. Loved it. This is probably one of the first ever like real perfumes I've got into. This used to be my signature scent back in the day. I used to literally reek of Angel every single day. This is when I only ever owned like one perfume at a time and I would just go through bottles and bottles of this. I don't use it as much these days. This one has taken me a bit of a while to get through, but I did get through it. Definitely would repurchase it again. However, I don't know how long it would take me to use a whole bottle of it in the future. Next one I've used up is this one. This is Jo Malone's Wood, Sage and Sea Salt. Now, this one, this is a bit of a nondescript perfume for me. It's so very light and there's not a lot going on in it. It's just a fresh, sort of clean scent. If you wanna smell like you just come out of the shower and not much else, then yeah, get this one. But this is not something that I personally would repurchase. A, the performance is not good on it. It doesn't have a lot of projection. It's quite a weak perfume. I can understand people liking it, but it's kind of not my vibe. So I would not repurchase that one. Right, this next one surprised me. This one was given to me and it's by Bespoke London and it's called Spiced Pear and Warm Amber. And this is an exact dupe of La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And it smells so strong and it is so exact. Like if you don't want to pay for La Belle, but you like it, get your nose on this one. Because this one, this, it smells exactly the same. Like literally you would like if I was blindfolded, I would think this was Labelle. This was cheap and longevity, obviously not as good as Labelle, but it was passable. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't terrible. It wasn't dire. So if you want to look for something that's Labelle esque, but half the cost or even less than half the cost, I'm not sure how much these go for, but I don't think it's very expensive at all then get your nose on this one. And yeah, I would repurchase this one again. Next one is this one, and this is Princess by Killian. This is when it was in this old style bottle. I must admit, I do like how the new bottle looks better. Um, mm, this still smells so good. Like when I first got this, I was not impressed with it. I didn't think it was all that great, 
but leaving my bottle to sit i don't know maybe it did something to it and it made it a bit stronger and more enjoyable to my nose this is like a fluffy vanilla-y marshmallow with a bit of peach in it tea as well it's really nice if you like something really girly and sweet check this one out would i repurchase it again yes i actually would if you'd asked me that maybe six months ago i might have said no but i've grown to love this one next up we have this one and this is joyful by kate spade now somebody gave me this perfume i did not buy this myself and this perfume was dire not gonna lie it smelt nice it was like an orangey citrusy quite uplifting and bright smelling perfume but the longevity like literally you spray this on your skin and then like five minutes later there's like no trace whatsoever so this was abysmal when it comes to performance however the scent was very pleasant so therefore this was used as an air freshener in one of my toilets yeah not gonna lie so no definitely would not repurchase next up is another muggler and this is alien this is just a little 30 ml bottle this was what i kept in my bag and i went through this one quite quickly i do have another large bottle on the go so i do love this fragrance alien is a classic in my opinion you can't go wrong a lot of people are either angel or alien i like both but if i had to choose one i think back in the day it would have been angel but now i prefer this one this is a gorgeous ambery white floral brilliant performance not as good as the original formulation of course i mean that goes with a lot of perfumes these days but it still smells gorgeous i still like it and i would definitely continue to rock this one this one gets a lot of compliments next up is one of the most underrated perfumes that i think i've owned in recent times in fact the whole brand is underrated but she makes amazing perfumes and I'm talking about none other than Liz Earle's Botanical Essence Number no. 9. Like, literally, it was my mum that introduced me to Liz Earle perfumes. These are very kind of like, I'd say, herbally type smelling perfumes. They almost smell like you're in a spa, but they are so strong. Like, literally, the strength. Oh, and it's so warm and inviting cozy and comforting like this is like a lovely fluffy sweater enveloping you do you know what i mean and making you feel really cozy and you'd want to fall asleep this is a very very calming perfume and it smells divine and it is like a beast on the skin like it lasts and lasts and it projects and it just smells gorgeous and yeah the quality of lizelle perfumes i think they're so great and they're so underrated and not many people talk about them i know gabby does the fragrantition and i think chantelle tiffany has mentioned lizelle perfumes as well but not many other people do they are slept on would i repurchase a hundred percent yes next up i was really gutted to have finished this one this is hot couture by givenchy like where are all the caps to these perfumes i don't know don't ask me why i've lost all the caps once i've used them but hey ho but yeah this one was gifted to me by gabby the fragrantician and i was so over the moon when she gave me this because i hadn't smelt hot couture but i knew it was one of her favorites i love the raspberry in this the musk the amber it's such a lovely fragrance it has just the right amount of fruitiness the right amount of spiciness and warmth it is a beautiful sensual perfume and would i repurchase it oh yes definitely so the next one is this one and this is jessica simpson's fancy this was one of probably one of the first sort of celebrity perfumes i added to my collection when i started collecting perfumes and this is a big old 100 ml bottle so i was quite pleased to have got through this now this is like a soft warm sweet caramel perfume it's quite sticky sweet a lot of people like this i liked it 
it wasn't a love and to me it didn't perform that well so this one ended up being like a hybrid air freshener stroke something that I would just spray if I'm going to bed or if I'm just coming out of the shower and I'm just going to be indoors something like that this isn't something that I would repurchase unfortunately but it was okay it's okay if if you want something that's sweet and sort of syrupy and caramelly but you don't want to spend too much money then this would be a good bet but it's not something that I think I would bother getting again I think there's other perfumes in this price range that I'd rather have than this one but it was okay it was a nice bottle as well I do like the bottle next one another celeb perfume and this one is Beyonce's Heat Night I think this was and I did quite like this one because it has like a plummy smell it's, yeah I can still get a little hmm it's quite nice but the performance was not good not good at all I'd much rather have Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy than this but I think these those two scents are a little bit similar yeah but this one this is quite fruity and juicy and nice but it lacks in the performance. So I probably wouldn't repurchase this one. Sorry, Beyonce. I'd repurchase your music, but not your perfume. Okay, on to the next one, which is another celebrity perfume. And it is this one. And this is Sarah Jessica Parker's Lovely. Now, I do really like this perfume. This is a very pleasant, fresh, clean, uplifting scent. It has a bit of citrusiness in the top of it, in the opening. Although it's not an overly citrus perfume, it's more of a musky floral. But it's very pleasant. I don't see anyone disliking this. I know there are people who obviously do dislike it. But I would say this is quite a crowd-pleasing perfume. And it does get compliments, funnily enough. And performance is not bad. I think this is one of the really sort of well worth your money celebrity perfumes because I think you get a big old bottle for not too much money and it actually does what it's meant to do you know it, it smells decent what can I say I like it and I would repurchase it again and I yeah I've enjoyed wearing it to be fair next one you guessed it another celebrity perfume like what's going on Angie how comes I'm using all the celebrity ones I think because I'm so, so liberal with these ones. Um, so this is Live Lux by J-Lo. And this is all right, you know. This is like a kind of like, to me, this smells very much watermelony. Yeah, very melon-esque. Is that a word even? But anyway, yeah, it's fruity. It's quite clean smelling, quite fresh smelling. It's floral with a bit of musk and a hint of vanilla. Yeah, I quite enjoyed it. However, I don't think it performed that well. It didn't last that well, but it's all right. It's all right for something that you throw in your gym bag, for example, after you've worked out and you just want to smell a bit, you know, fresh afterwards. You could put this on or even before you go in the gym or just for, you know, every day or chilling at home. It's all right. It's quite a nice, fruity, fresh floral. That's how I would describe it. Would I repurchase it? Probably not, if I'm being honest. If someone gave it to me, I wouldn't throw it back in their face, put it that way. I mean, I wouldn't throw anything back in anyone's face, to be fair. But you know what I'm saying. I wouldn't repurchase it again, but if I was given it, I would use it. Um, I would keep it and happily use it. But it's not something that I'm itching for, if that makes sense. It's not the kind of scent that I gravitate towards necessarily. But it's not a bad person. Yeah. Last, but definitely not least is this beauty and this is of course Idol by Lancome I mean I love the bottle I'm sad that you're gone but yes I will definitely 100% repurchase Idol this is just this is just the original Idol. Obviously, we all know there are a ton of flankers. Well, not a ton, but a few flankers. And I love all of those as well. And I do own all of them. Um, the original, I will always go back to. I love it. It's a beautiful, rosy, musky perfume with a bit of vanilla in it. 
it's a beautiful classic feminine scent that really does get me a ton of compliments as with most Lancome perfumes it lasts the performance is fantastic on it it's just very elegant I see it as very sophisticated this would be an amazing bridal scent in my opinion I wear this all year round but I think particularly in the spring I gravitate towards this one but yeah I will definitely repurchase Idol. I love all of the Idol line and I think it's a great quality perfume so if you're in the market for something florally a bit sweet musky with a hint of vanilla in it look no further beautiful modern day rose perfume so unfortunately we've reached the end of the video if you are still with me thank you so much for hanging on in here with me i know it was a bit of a long one and i probably rambled a little bit but you know me i love a chat please subscribe if you haven't already hit the like button hit the notification bell all of that good stuff and i hope you'll join me again in the next one bye for now